What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. You know what is really funny? Last week, if you guys haven't checked it out, be sure to check it out. We faced a mono dark team, and now we are against somebody who's using a mono grass team. So that's very interesting to me. Obviously, Incineroar is going to be my key to victory. Wishy Washy can just kind of decide and, um, uh, wishy-washy just isn't gonna do anything in this battle I feel like so before I continue with my intro I need to see who I am going to start with more than likely Galvantula given that this th there is a little bit of a there are some Pokemon that set up the Sun and I really want to avoid getting swept by a chlorophyll Venusaur so because of that I'm gonna start Galvantula and go from there now if you guys haven't checked out the last Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Be sure to do so. That battle was pretty, pretty cool. Mono Dark team again. We faced off against, and we faced off against a shiny Incineroar. It was pretty cool. Incineroar versus Incineroar. It was the best thing I have done in a while, or have witnessed. It's like Tony the Tiger versus knockoff Hornflake uh, kind of stuff. Also, if you guys have not checked out the team builder, be sure to do so. The link is going to be down in the description to the playlist, so you can just find it there. Uh, same thing with the other Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. And also, be sure to comment down below. Place your bets on who the MVP of this battle is going to be. Let me know right now. I'm curious to see. I feel like it's going to be Incineroar because of the fact that we're facing off a grass type. Uh, well, a mono grass team. Now, I really want to rant really quick. I'm going to set up Sticky Web before I do anything. I really want to rant really quick because I actually recorded two battles already with this team. I, I'm actually doing it the exact same day I'm, I am I did those battles. But you know, little, little Mac here, little Mac, I forgot to set up my microphone. I, it was turned off or something. I, I don't even know what happened, but I had to set up a setting on my computer. In order for my microphone to actually sound so that kind of bugged me uh but it is what it is we're, we're fighting a mono type team I, everything happens for a reason i always say it. now venusaur is on the field what does venusaur do to me that scares me i think i'm gonna go doug trio doug trio mm. Mm -mm -mm. i kind of want to see what this thing is gonna do to me i'm gonna bug buzz here i know venusaur is pretty bulky in the special defense side so i'm still gonna go for a bug buzz regardless that's a two-hit KO. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I'm very down for that. Venusaur doesn't get any priority. Oh, you gave me that poison. Give me the poison. How? <laughs> I was going to ask how you poison the spider, but it's simple. You, all you got to do is uh, give it that little that little spray. I don't remember what it's called. All right. Bug Buzz one more time. Get rid of this Venusaur. The biggest... Oh, wait. It's not going to knock him out. I didn't even realize. I didn't snap that he had the leftovers. It knocks out regardless. I got a high roll. I got a high roll, or maybe the last one was a low roll. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Got rid of the biggest threat on her team. I think I'm going to keep Galvantula in no matter what because of the fact that uh, maybe Galvantula is good against the uh, Ludicolo. I think I should do that. I think I should save Galvantula for the Ludicolo. Everything else pretty much goes down to the Incineroar. So this is probably going to be a really quick battle. All right. Celebi comes in again. I really don't fear the Celebi. Shiny Celebi, is that, what is, what is the event for Shiny Celebi? I, I don't even, I wasn't even aware. All right, I'm going to bug buzz. This thing is probably going to go down. If not, it's going to take a lot of damage, and I mean a lot. Yeah, Celebi goes down. Galvantula, you little, you little, um, Charlotte, Charlotte the Galvantula. I, I nicknamed my Pokemon in here, but I never put it in the game. I, I, I just like seeing the regular Pokemon name. I, I don't know why. Okay, so what are you gonna do next? Just grab my controller and just fill out. All right. Meow, I think that was her name. Meow. Meow the Meow is sending out Shinotic. Pretty cool Pokemon. I actually want to use one. I've never ever used one before. Um, stat wise, it's pretty bulky on the special defensive side and the HP, of course. So I'm gonna try to bug buzz regardless. I think Galvantula did all it needed to do. So I'm going to bug buzz here. Try to whittle this thing down as much as I can. And just about a two hit KO again. 
Moon Blast doesn't phase me. It may phase Galvantula, but it doesn't phase me as a trainer. Because I already know what I'm going to do. Good job, Galvantula. Come back. Okay. A little bit of HP with the Shell Belt. Don't DC on me. Okay. Thank goodness. Um, Sil Valley? Sil Valley? Do I want a Sil Valley? I kind of do, to be honest. Um, the Trio, maybe? I think I'm going to Duck Trio. I'm trying to play this kind of conservative, but at the same time, be on the offensive. I don't want my... Big boy Pokemon to get knocked out right away, especially the Incineroar. Iron Head is going to do just fine. So we're going to try to knock this thing out. If you switch, you switch. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, withdrawals, you know, tick just like I expected. Maybe Cher Leafeon. I've never seen a Leafeon in competitive battling. I've tried to use one in uh, Omega Ruby off of Sapphire, but I, I, I wasn't really that good. It was just a Swords Dance with a couple other moves. Okay, I'm going to go for another Iron Head, given that it's Stab. It's going to do a little bit more damage than, uh, I assume, a Stone Edge. All right, so Iron Head. Good. That's some good damage. Flinch! Oh, I feel bad for you, Meow. I'm, I'm really sorry. If you come across this video one day, and you're watching it, and you're kind of mad... I'm mad for you, believe it or not. All right, Leafeon goes down. That's, that was really... I, I kind of feel bad. I, I know I shouldn't because it's Pokemon, but I kind of feel bad. What are you going to go for? Um, Beard Froggo? Uh, I guess... How is he a frog, though? Okay. Obviously, Iron Head isn't going to do anything. I think it's time to switch. I think I'm gonna go wishy, yeah, wishy washy here. I think that's the move. We're probably gonna Dynamax, and I understand why. I'm gonna go wishy washy. My wishy washy schooling, my wishy wishy washy washy. Dude, that's a good name, washy washy or wishy wishy. Hydro pump, we tank that, take it all day, and I kind of want to. I want to switch um, Incineroar. I'm going to go Incineroar here. Ludicolo probably outspeeds me still. But I'm going to go into, into the Incineroar here. Intimidate doesn't really matter, obviously. But I really don't want to take a lot of damage with the, within the Wishy Washy. Because it can still be a little bit useful. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to do anything to us. Um, I think it's time, and I hope I outspeed this thing, to go for a U-turn. If I get outsped, okay, I don't get outsped. Thank goodness. You turn. That's some choice banded damage for you guys right there. That's a knockout. So what I'm gonna do here is go into. What do I want to go into now? Wishy washy. No, I'm gonna go into Doug Trio. I'm gonna go into Doug Trio, given that the rest of his team is not resistant to Iron Head, and Iron Head obviously is a little bit of an annoying move because. I mean, Jirachi, Serene Grace Jirachi gets Iron Head, and that flinches a lot. Uh, we still have a chance to flinch, so we're going to try to play some hacks here. If I get hacks myself, then it is what it is. All right, Sticky Web. Sticky Web is such a good mood. Uh, 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 mood? Mood? Sticky Web is such a good move. Boom. That's some damage. I really want to use a Cherim also. Sunny Day. A little bit too late for that. A little bit too... I was going to call her Sunny, but her name is Meow. Flower gift and the beautiful version of Cherium. Cherium? Is it Cherim or... No, it's Cherim. It has to be Cherim. Because there's no um. I still call it Cherium. All right. All right, Cherim. Let's go ahead and hit you with another Iron Head. And you're going to go down. The next Pokemon is uh, Shinotic. Denotic. Um, what's the other one? The mon. I think this is a W. Mono Grass type is pretty rough. Yeah, Shinotic. Is that your last Pokemon? I think it is. I really think it is. Let me check though. It is. Iron Head, and it's gonna. Th this is gonna be the game. Uh, this 10 minute, 10 minute video ish. Say what now? You're Dynamaxing? Dynamaxing your Shinotic. Oh my goodness. It's kind of creepy. Look at, look at the face. 
That was a cool cry. Okay. Max guard, understandable. Un understandably so. I'm gonna go iron head here. All right. Go ahead and go for another iron head. Iron head and knockout. We knocked out a giant Shinotic. Bye bye little fun guy. Fun guy, get it? All right, enough with the jokes. We defeated Meow. I was gonna say let's do another Wi-Fi battle, but I don't really, I have time, but I don't have time. And it doesn't make sense that I say that. Meow, your team was cool, so I'm taking your, key, your lead card. Meow, thank you so much for this Wi-Fi battle. I hope you come across this uh, video in the near future. Also, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you like Meow's team because I thought it was really nice. I thought it was very unique. Let me know who the MVP, most valuable Pokemon is in the comment section down below. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos and battles. I will see you guys next time.